Yo guys, what is going on? Back with my latest video. So today we have another mystery box right here. This is from Chrono Toys. This is one of the $35 damage mystery boxes. This has been one of my favorite ones to open up. So let's see how we do with this one. Here we go. Alright, so before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Very important that you do so. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already a subscriber to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below so you're updated to my most recent content. And hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. Um, so like I said, this was a $35 damage mystery box from Chrono Toys. Um, do really well with these and they're not too expensive so you can't go but so wrong with a $35 mystery box. Uh, the damages on these boxes so far haven't been that significant and um, yeah for 35 bucks uh, it's pretty much a retail common pop price um, price you're going into about eight bucks and some change. So let's see how we do with these. Uh, there's no protectors on any of them so at least one by one and see how we do. So here is the first pop. First pop is Agent 13 from Captain America Civil War. Um, so I guess this is a common because I think that sticker doesn't mean too much. Uh, I haven't seen Civil War. I'm not a huge Captain America fan at all. I heard it's one of the best Marvel movies. I just don't care about Captain America at all to be quite honest with you. Um, eventually I'll watch it just because I heard it's so good. Actually no I'm lying. I'm actually lying to you guys. I saw Civil War. I didn't see Winter Soldier. Civil War I watched because it had some of the other superheroes in it, but Winter Soldier I did not watch. Um, but I still don't remember who Agent 13 is. Um, but there you go, that's Agent 13, common pop from the Captain America Civil War movie. Um, I'm not a huge fan, so this probably one this will probably be one that's available if anybody's looking for it. But there you go, that's the first pop. All right, guys, so let's move on to the second pop, which is, huh, this is Lothar from Warcraft. Warcraft's apparently a movie. I'm learning that right now because it says movies on the box. I know nothing about this. Um, I don't know if this is related to World of Warcraft because um, there's some goblin looking things on the back. Ogres, you guys are probably going to trolls or something. The guys are probably gonna laugh at me because I have no idea who these are. Um, but yeah, that's the second pop is Lothar from Warcraft. <laughs> okay, this isn't starting off the best, but hopefully this gets better because I don't know who either of those two people are at all. So the third pop at least make it somebody I know. Okay, I do know this guy. This is Puss in Boots from Shrek. Um, this is one I had my eyes on for a while. Um, I did want this whole series, Puss in Boots, Shrek, and Donkey. Um, this is a really cool one. This is an older one, isn't it? Yeah, from 2015. Puss in Boots. Um, I'm not sure if this is a really expensive one. I'm pretty sure it's vaulted, at least. Um, I know Shrek and Donkey have got to be vaulted by now. Uh, but Puss in Boots is a dope one. Uh, I don't think I ever saw the Puss in Boots movie. I definitely saw Shrek 3, I think, that he's in. I don't know if he's in 2 or 3. I think he's in 3. Um, so I do remember the character. I just didn't see the Puss in Boots movie. But Shrek's Puss in Boots is a dope pop. Uh, glad to have this one in the collection. Really cool one. So at least I know who that person is. That's all I can ask for. You know, I like to do these videos and I like to kind of... Uh, let you guys know my thoughts on the characters as I pull them and not just say what the value is or um, oh cool here's a new pop. I like to kind of give you guys a little brief overview at least of my feelings of the character, a little bit of history if I can. Because a lot, a lot of people I see that have uh, pops know who the people even are, they just kind of collect them because they're valuable or they're ex exclusive. But a lot of times like the reason why I collect the things I do that are back there is because it means something to me. So. If I can give you any kind of insight on these who these characters are, I will. But Lothar, I can't give you anything on. So here's a fourth pop. Hopefully it's something good. All right, so this is another Overwatch pop. This is May from Overwatch. I believe, if I'm correct, this is a GameStop exclusive. 
it's just missing the sticker. Um, I believe that's the common May back there. This one was really cool. Um, I did see it when it came out, but you know, I don't collect Overwatch Pops. I just think they're really, really cool looking. You have that other little robot back there um, that kind of makes it into like a second pop. Um, those are one of my favorites when you get two pops in one. This one's really, really heavy as well. Um, it probably weighs like a pound. Most pops right way less than that. Um, but yeah, this is a GameStop exclusive May. Uh, really cool looking pop, just not one I will keep in my collection. But anybody who's in the video games or knows who the character is more than I do, I definitely suggest getting this one over the common because um, I don't think this one's too expensive and it's so much better. But there you go, there's May from Overwatch. All right, so here's the final two pops. Hopefully there's something good in here. Disney Grail, Ad Icon, something like that. There you go. Oh, okay, who is this? Oh, okay, this is Destro from G.I. Joe. So I didn't know they had G.I. Joe Pops. Um, this is a 2017 New York City Comic Con exclusive, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know much about Destro. I didn't grow up watching Dragon, uh, Dragon Ball Z. I didn't grow up watching G.I. Joe or really play with the toys. I do know who Cobra Commander is, and I would take Cobra Commander if I could get him. Um, but Destro, I don't remember much about him. I know you guys probably do. Drop down in the comment section below if you guys watch G.I. Joe. Let me know uh, about the show. But Destro looks cool at least. Um, and it's exclusive to New York City Comic Con. It's, it's never a bad thing to get exclusive pop from the con um, in a mystery box. But there you go. There's Destro from New York City Comic Con of 2017. Alright guys. So here's the final pop. Hopefully it's something good that I can add to my collection. Because um, so far I don't think... Oh yeah, the Puss and Boots I'll keep. But the other ones I don't know if I'm going to keep. They don't really fit into what I collect. So hopefully this one does. It does. Yes. <laughs> we end this on a high note. We have the Flocked Ernie from Barnes & Noble. So I at one point was really collecting the Sesame Street Pops. Um, they're kind of hard to find for a good price. Or at least the price I want to pay. Because um, they are kind of expensive. Most of them are vaulted. Um, this flocked Ernie, I don't know why, I guess because he's a puppet, but I, I guess flock makes sense for that. I was going to say, I don't know why they made a flocked one, but it, him being a puppet, flocked, I guess makes a little bit of sense. Um, this one's really cool. I think I might have the regular edition Ernie. I'm not too sure. Um, but that Cookie Monster back there, the flock Cookie Monster is one of my personal grails. If I get that one, I'd be really hype. Um, but this... Ernie is definitely one I've been looking to add for a long time. Um, I don't think this one's $35 as far as the price of the mystery box, but it's pretty close and I'm definitely happy that I get this one um, with that Puss in Boots. This makes that box definitely worth it to me. Um, this is a personal grail and glad I had it in the collection. So drop down in the comment section below what your favorite one was from this box. Um, here's the value as far as how I did uh, with the pops. Um, again, if you have not already smashed that like button down below, Hit that like button. Let me know you guys like this video. Comment down below what your favorite one was from this box or anything else you want to put. Um, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you're updated to my most recent videos and see more videos just like this. Thank you so much for your support, guys. And until next time, I'll see you later.